Let's subsidize nuclear energy. Okay, does it do much? So, oh, one notch, right? One notch. So, first of all, did it do anything? We were at 2.1, we're still at 2.1. Take a look at the graph over here. You do see more nuclear, right? It's the blue wedge there. But what's happening? You're squeezing out a little bit of renewables, uh, but the main reason is you've already made renewables much, much cheaper than nuclear. I haven't looked at this graph yet, but let's look at the costs of the different sources of, uh, of electricity. Cost of electricity by source. Look at the renewables, that's the green line. Renewables quickly become cheaper than everything else. And by the middle of the next, uh, by the next decade. And in fact, in many parts of the world today, wind and solar, including storage, are cheaper than fossil energy today and are cheaper than nuclear today in the United States. So that's one reason why your subsidy isn't, isn't doing a huge amount. Now, as, a, as an experiment, if we go back to the base case here, it's not that nuclear can never do anything. If we do nuclear alone, you get a huge wedge of nuclear, but it's not cost effective in the ensemble of other policies that you've got going right here. Uh, and, you know, the, the rapid rate of decline of uh, the renewables here is consistent with history and is due to the fact that they are smaller scale, smaller units, millions and millions of solar panels can be deployed. You get a lot of production experience very, very quickly, whereas in the nuclear industry, there is no standardization. They aren't mass produced at the moment, and so the learning curve rate for nuclear is between zero and negative, basically, right now. Uh, I'll give you an example. I consulted as an expert witness in a, a, a dispute over cost overruns for a large nuclear power plant that's been under construction uh, for, for quite a while. The contract was signed in 2003, I believe. The plan was for the first uh, generation in 2009. It's 2019, late 2019. The plant has not yet generated a single kilowatt hour, and the cost overrun is approaching $6 billion. So that's what can happen. Now that may be a worst case, but there's not a lot of nuclear going on in the world right now, except where governments are ignoring the market signals and pushing it for other, other reasons.